Well, you asked for it. Five more layouts for Notion coming right up. All right, let's just dive into it. This is the reference layout. This layout is a simple solution for those people out there that want to reference certain information on the go without having to dig through tons of files and folders. And I know that search in apps is very powerful these days, but come on, when you're in a hurry, you really don't want to be searching for stuff anyway. So to solve that problem, I have four pages here on my left navigation panel. As you can see, we have reference, scans, file cabinet, and archive. Right now we have the reference page open, and as you can see here, I just have some pages, you know, basically just information you're going to be looking up a lot on a weekly, maybe even daily basis. And you really don't want to be digging around for the same information over and over again. In a way, it's almost like you're reinventing the wheel in terms of trying to find your data. So to solve that problem, just put all that data you're going to be looking at constantly on a recurring basis in this reference page. And I'm going to open up a couple examples here. Let's go into emergency. We got some emergency phone numbers. We got some links. This is the kind of stuff that I'm talking about here. When there's an emergency, you're gonna be most likely panicking. I mean, we've all been there, it happens. I know we all think we're never gonna panic, we're gonna play it cool, but when stuff gets out of hand, yeah, it can be stressful. Imagine if, say, something happened, like a power outage, or your apartment was flooding, your cat or dog needed to see a doctor right away. By having this information already laid out for you in these pages, you don't have to think, you don't have to Google anything, you're all set, you're good to go. And if we go back to the reference page again, click on Wi-Fi passwords, we get a list of Wi-Fi passwords here for routers that we use on a regular basis. Now I know what you're thinking, yes, our phones do save Wi-Fi passwords. However, and let me know in the comments below if you've ever been in this situation, but have you ever maybe gotten a new phone or lost your phone or broke your phone and you got a new phone, you got a replacement, or maybe you use your friend's old phone while you were waiting to get your new phone, whatever it may be. In all those situations, you're gonna have to re-enter that password again. And I've been there. Not everyone I know has their Wi-Fi password memorized. I'll tell you that right now. So yeah, with this way, you don't have to ask more than once and it's all within reach of that reference page. And below the reference page, we have a page for scans. These pages are basically inboxes for you to throw your scans into. So let's open up a page here real quick. And as you can see here, we have a scan from a hospital. And let's just say you're ready to organize these scans. We hop over to the filing cabinet. As you can see here, we have organized areas for our life and specific pages inside those areas. So as you can see, we already have medical right here. There's nothing in it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to scans and we're gonna open up that file and cabinet page on the left sidebar here. So Notion lets you open and close these pages on the left panel here as if they were folders, which is very useful. So what we're gonna do is instead of making a mess, just dragging things and not knowing where they're gonna go, let's hop back into scans, hop back in medical. Let's grab that visit summary. You wanna click and drag right here, bring it over to the medical page inside the file and cabinet. And so what I just did was I dragged that scan from scans into this medical page here. So all these pages right here, you can see them all right here. And if we close that up and go into medical, there is the scan, safe and sound. And some of you might be wondering, well, how do I know if certain pages should be in the reference folder versus the filing cabinet? Well, I mean, that's really up to you. I mean, if you find yourself going to a page multiple times a month, multiple times a day, just simply drag and drop whatever information you need from the filing cabinet page over to the reference page. It's that simple. And of course, if there's anything you don't need anymore, we have a archive page right here, which is basically a great way to keep a history log of things that you worked on, which is just a convenient way to keep any data that you don't need anymore, get it out of your main pages, prevent that clutter from piling up. But just in case you need to go back and reference it later, you still have it in that archive page. All right, let's move on to the next layout. So this is the planner layout. This layout is designed to help you plan things that you want to do. And if you look on our sidebar here, we have a page for ideas, plans, schedule, templates, and archive. So right now we're in the ideas page and I just have a couple examples here. This page is simply for you to throw in your ideas. It's basically like an inbox. And once you have some ideas in there and you want to organize things, all you got to do is take one of these ideas, grab it. We're going to bring it over to plans when we hop into that page. 
And, you know, I got some categories here to organize things. This is going to be for work, so we're going to only pop that open drag that in there. Now I know this page might seem a little redundant, but the plans page is a simple way to organize your ideas and plans and events inside these categories, which basically work like folders. And I have them color coded here, which is just an easier way to separate them visually. And this page is just a way to separate things that you're definitely planning on doing versus just ideas in the ideas page, because who knows, maybe you won't end up doing all the things that you write down in that ideas page. So in short, this is a page for your plans that you are serious about. Now the schedule page here is our calendar, but in order for this drag and drop to be successful, we gotta turn this into a page. Once you've done that, we're gonna go over to schedule, and I've made this page a full size calendar. Just like we did earlier, click the arrow next to the plans page. And now because we turned that bullet into a page, it will now show up in the sidebar here. And all you gotta do is click and drag that onto the day you want to schedule that item. So you might be asking, what happens if you drag a block into the calendar that's not a page? Let's go back to the ideas page and drag one of these bullet points into the calendar. Open up the calendar. And as you can see, it's not here. I'm gonna scroll, it's nowhere to be found. But if you notice at the top here, there is a link that says no date, click on that. That is where that bullet point went. All you gotta do is click on that and it should pop it right into today on the calendar. And of course, if you wanna change that date, you can just drag it like so. So I have one more thing to show you with this layout. We're gonna go into the templates page here. I set up some basic templates here for some things you might repeat over and over again. Templates are just a great way to save time and not have to type the same thing over and over again. Even if you're copying and pasting, it still takes up time. I highly recommend playing around with templates if you have some time. Why don't we generate a template right now? Once you set up your templates, all you have to do is click on that plus sign. It will generate a fresh template for you and it opens it right up. You can take a look, make sure everything looks okay. Then let's back out, go back into templates. And as you can see, that freshly generated template pops up right below the template generator. Go into schedule, pop open the templates on the sidebar there and drag this into a date on the calendar. And boom, there you go. You are ready to go for the next week. All right, let's move on to the next layout. All right, so this is the dashboard layout. This layout is just a great way to keep all of your high level information together for your projects. Now, we're gonna be using a business example here, but don't let that stop you. You, of course, could use this for anything in your personal life, or maybe you play D&D &D with your friends, anything like that. On my sidebar here, I have two team workspaces. I have pages for things that are active, under review, and done. So right now, we have the Team A page open. Why don't we hop into the weekly reviews page? And as you can see, we have two weekly reviews right here. This is where the information lives. And the reason why these pages are under the workspace section here on my sidebar is because in this example, this information will be shared with your team. So everybody who is a member of your Notion workspace will have access to these Team A and Team B pages and anything that's inside of them. But if I were to drag one of these pages into one of these personal pages here, it would actually leave this team's workspace page and no longer be accessible by everyone else on my team, which is something you definitely don't wanna do. You might be saying, well, Jeff, why don't you move these pages right here to the workspace? Yeah, I could do that. But the problem with that is, is that this information, which belongs to the weekly reviews page, is gonna be moved to these pages, which are not really specific. They're just kind of like cues. They're simply just pages to keep the status of things. So if one of my team members were looking for one of these pages right here, they would not find it in this weekly reviews page because I would have moved it into one of these. Even if they can see it, they would still have to go and find it, which would really just be a big inconvenience for everybody. So how do we solve this problem? Well, good news is Notion lets you create links to pages that are already living inside of Notion. So why don't we open up the active page? And as you can see here, I've already created a couple links to a couple pages. And if we open up this page right here, it brings us to the original location of that page. If you look up here at the breadcrumbs, we are inside weekly reviews, which is inside of team A. So I'm gonna show you how to create the link. Just hover over the page you wanna create a link to. Click on those three dots, click on copy link. We hop over to active again, paste that link in, and then make sure you click on the link to page from the dropdown. 
And there you go. And if we want to color it orange to match the other one. And yeah, this is just a super simple way to take advantage of link blocks inside of Notion, totally hassle-free, without moving your pages around on your teammates, getting people upset, getting people confused. So let's move on to the next layout. So this is what I like to call the research layout. It's just a simple and effective way to move forward with anything you need to research. In this example, we're gonna be using college courses, but of course you could use this layout for any other types of research. Maybe it's for your blog, maybe it's for your podcast, anything really. So right now we're on the Q page. And on this page, I just have different assignments from different classes and I've color coded them based on the class that they belong to, which just helps visually organize things a little bit better. And I've created a page here called objectives. I would consider this page to be optional based on your needs. The purpose of the objectives page would simply be a place to put your assignments. We are trying to figure out the goal of the assignment. Maybe you have a project or an essay coming up where the professor is letting you choose your own topic. In that type of scenario, the objectives page would be a great place to temporarily hold your assignments while you're trying to figure out what you're gonna do with them or what you need to do with them based from your professor's instructions or guidance. But of course, once you have all that stuff figured out, you're gonna wanna throw your assignment into the in-progress page. So why don't we move one of these assignments to the in-progress page, click on in-progress, let's open up that page, expand the queue page, grab that assignment, and let's throw it into the first column here. And if you're not familiar with what you're looking at here, this is simply a board inside of Notion. A board is a type of page where Notion lets you drag pages and tasks from one column to another, or as I like to refer to them as phases or stages. And as you can see on this page here, I have different stages set up. I have a column for the first draft, another column for adding sources to that draft, another column for reviewing that draft, and another column for the second draft. And all you have to do is simply drag and drop as you go about your research for your assignment. And when of course that assignment is done and ready, just simply drag and drop it into the ready page here. And once you get those grades in, hopefully you did okay, drag and drop that page into the archive, which just cleans things up a little bit and gets those completed assignments out of your way. All right, let's dive into the last layout. So I'm calling this layout the deep data layout. Now, the reason why I refer to it as deep data is simply because inside of Notion, you can have pages inside of pages inside of pages, and you can just keep going. And though it might seem like too many clicks to get to the information you want, it is still one of the best ways to keep all of your data organized. And especially if you're someone that doesn't like to use the search box, this may be the perfect solution to keep yourself organized and keeping all of your pages within their proper context. So on the left sidebar here, we have three pages. We have personal, business, and knowledge. But the heart of this layout lies deep, call back to the layout name, inside these top level pages. And as you can see, we're on the personal page here. And inside this personal page, I have pages for general, home, social, physical health, mental health, travel. And of course, you get as many things as you need. So let's pop on into the home page here. And now I've got even more pages. I have apartment, inventory, groceries, recipes, pets, and deliveries. Let's pop on over to the inventory to show you an example. We have a full-size table set up here. And this is just a simple example to show you what you could have for an inventory list for your apartment or your house. And things go even deeper. You can actually click on one of these items here and open them up like a page. And once you click on this edit page content right here, it essentially turns that block into a page block and you can type away at your heart's content, adding even more depth to your page layers in this layout. And feel free to add more properties as needed. All right, let's hop on over to the knowledge page here that I have set up. So I have this knowledge page set up here as an example of a page where you can keep all the things you're learning or you want to reference for later. And let's hop into business and let's hop into marketing. And I just have a really simple page layout here for some marketing things that you might be interested in learning. And I have separated it by course, books, videos, and articles. And when you're done with these articles, you can just check them off like so. Or keep adding more as you need to. 
All right, let's hop back over to knowledge. And I'm gonna show you one more example. Let's go into the art page. And let's go into the cinematography page. And this page goes a little bit deeper than the last page. So let's say right now you're in the middle of learning the fundamentals of cinematography. Let's hop on over into that page here. And let's say you're learning about exposure. And I've just thrown in some images here for a quick reference. But if you notice, we went in pretty deep. I'm gonna go to the sidebar and expand the pages. And we clicked on art, cinematography, fundamentals, exposure. And as you can see, we're one, two, three, four, five pages deep. Five pages deep inside of Notion right now. You of course could go deeper if you wanted to, that's totally up to you, I'm not gonna judge you. But regardless of how deep you decide to go, this layout is just a really simple, effective way to organize all of your information, whether it be personal, business, or just stuff that you're interested in. So yeah, that's five more layouts for Notion. Thanks for watching, I really do appreciate it. Um, yeah, I got more videos coming. I'm actually gonna be doing a lot more Notion videos because that's clearly what you guys wanna see. So. I don't have a problem with that. I like Notion. I like putting out Notion videos. So yeah, let me know in the comments below uh, what you'd like to see for my next Notion video or just my next video in general. And don't forget to hit me up on Twitter at Jeff Isley if you have any questions or suggestions or whatnot. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.